good afternoon friends uh, i'm dr yogesh uh, co-founder of biosense technologies uh, this map here this is where we started a journey uh, we were actually volunteering for an organization where we were really sensitized to the problem of anemia and being a doctor uh, going for uh, post graduation was my next aim but uh, we deferred and we went into studying medical devices and we have invented a uh, Non-invasive hemoglobin measuring device, which is battery-operated, truly non-invasive, gives you result in one minute. Just put your finger in for a minute and get your results. So it's that easy. Uh, having said that, when we uh, first encountered the problem of anemia, we were really uh, very, we had very little knowledge about the magni magnitude of the problem and when we were studying uh, the magnitude of the problem and what kind of compliance issues we'll face uh, we found this graph and according to this one fourth of the world is anemic especially pregnant women and children and it is hampering creativity productivity cognitive development in children low birth weight babies maternal mortality infection risks because hemoglobin is low and that is where we uh, invented non-invasive hemoglobin imaging device. So as I told you, just switch on the device, position your finger, uh, get the output on the screen. That's it. It's truly portable. It runs on two AA batteries, like wall clock cells. Uh, and it costs about only $200. So you can do f minimum 5,000 tests. So we are talking about less than 5 rupees no consumable so lots of supply chain issues which are there in uh, in in to penetrate the indian market the especially the rural one and other country market so we are tackling all those problems using a single device it took us four years of research about 36 uh, failed attempts uh, to devise this uh, it has been a great learning experience uh, this is our first baby uh, being in this field, we got uh, invited by Department of Science and Technology uh, because of their worry about diabetes and hypertension. Since India is a young country right now, though we are capital of, for both of these disease, imagine after 10, 10, 15 years down the line, we'll have the huge population who is having complications of these diseases. And one of the concerns of there was <coughs> diabetic complications and diabetic nephropathies. And that's where uh, they got in touch with us and asked us whether we can devise a solution. Uh, we looked at, the, there are different devices available like urine analysis, very good machines, about 80,000 rupees. You can do a test for 150 rupees uh, for albumin to creatine ratio, which is the earliest marker of kidney failure. So we were not uh, very sure why they are coming to us. And when they told, uh, told us that cost they are looking at it's 10,000 rupee a device and per test less than 50 rupees, then it sounded interesting to us. And uh, we explored what could be the possibilities of doing this. And we use now mobile phone to detect urine analysis, uh, color change, which are with the help of urine strips. So it's a basic Android mobile phone, cost about eighty dollars like four thousand five hundred rupees and it can check for your blood glucose routine urine analysis like glucose protein ketones nitrites leukocytes so urinary tract infections which are again a major public health concern because of poor hygiene habits and albumin to creatine ratio uh, which is the earliest marker of nephropathy especially in diabetics and hypertensives along with that uh, uh, we, we thought we should exploit it more and we developed a cloud-based backend since we were using a mobile phone. So once a test is done, it gets recorded on our cloud backend and we give a geographic representation of the all tests done. So our vision is every healthcare worker having these devices, testing and screening children, pregnant women, elderly population for all these uh, diseases. And we are providing a map to public health agencies or NGOs where this is where you should focus on because the prevalence of urine tract infection in this area is more. 
this is where you should fo focus on hypertensive uh, uh, like resources, whatever you are putting in. Uh, that's our vision. Uh, sticking to the program, there was supposed to be a slide uh, which would explain uh, what we did when I went to Nairobi. <laughs> so I used that opportunity to meet a couple of doctors and uh, which actually uh, was very, very um, enlightening because the kind of healthcare infrastructure and the kind of uh, markets we are talking in India and uh, I think East Africa are completely different. Uh, we'll, we'll need to use different tactics uh, to get awareness and promotion of our product. Uh, so we have established initial uh, distribution network. Uh, our plan is to devise case studies which would make our devices appropriate for the use in anywhere in the world. And I think language barriers, usability and packaging will play a very significant role. So we are uh, talking with Aga Khan University so that we can set up a study to help us uh, find out these solutions, pro uh, solutions for these problems. We are also interested in setting up pilots with NGOs uh, with the help of which we can, we'll be able to prove that yes, if you can do this along with other components like awareness and treatment, uh, this is how the scenario might change. Uh, so providing that input to governments or larger NGOs. Uh, and we are looking for a distribution network which goes beyond cities because we, we don't want doctors to use our devices. Though initially they are our early adopters, but we don't want them. We want healthcare workers, we want entrepreneurs on village level, bigger village level to do these testings and refer it to the doctors with this test. Um, that's all I have for you as of now. Thank you. Thank you, Yogesh, for your excellent presentation. And um, Yogesh and the innovators who will follow him now uh, are uh, all working on innovations that they're just looking to expand to Africa. So they're at very early stages and you know, any support that you can give them in terms of ideas or contacts is very much appreciated. Yogesh also joined us in Nairobi. and. Yep. That's where he met Aga Khan Hospital. So, yes, yes, sir. Uh, does the color of the uh, skin, in terms of patient's skin color, it uh, affect the sensitivity of such hemoglobin? Uh, it affects the reading of the hemoglobin. It does not affect the sensitivity of the device because we have already faced this problem. Uh, one of the 36 attempts was uh, this skin color change. Second question is on the urinary tract infections. Uh, yes. Will it also capture your sexually transmitted infections like chlamydia and gonorrhea? Uh, no, it will just tell you the leukocyte count. That's all. Yes. Thank you. The cost of the touch B? Um, the cost of the touch B for 5,000 tests, we are trying to bring it down, but as of now, it's 25,000. Uh, initially, if NGOs is partnering with us, we'll be able to give it to half of the rate. I have a question. Yes, sir. Given this new innovation and with the huge Indian market, what would be the incentive at this early stage to go to Africa? Uh, because the problems we faced, I mean, if you look at the graph, which is when I do camps in villages or schools, is the compliance. They, they won't let us uh, do the test. And when I had uh, other experience when I was testing touch B, going out, doing a field test in the field, the people were queuing up. Okay, now you test mine. Okay, I'll bring my daughter, also test her. Because that was so easy. So I think that convenience factor, uh, which was overlooked till now, because this is the problem we face, the developing nation. Uh, hence, there was no major innovation happened around the world uh, in this area. Having said that, cancer has started having animics in developed nation as well. So I could see a major OT application, operation theater application for this device as well. But uh, that's the next stage. Great. Any more questions? We actually have time for one more while the projector warms up. I would like to thank you for the presentation. In fact, this device is very applicable, in my opinion, uh, especially to African case. Uh, taking Ethiopian case, we have uh, health uh, extension workers. Mm -hmm. These people are young people. They are not doctors. Uh, 
and uh, using your device because they go door to door uh, and they have direct contact with the patients. And um, I believe and this kind of device will uh, help my country uh, in our, you know, it, it will be very good uh, on the ground level. Yes. So we will have communication with your sure. company and how to move forward. Sure, I, yeah. I would love to. Actually, that's our desire. But uh, since we cannot directly go to the governments, uh, we, uh, we have taken a private route as of now. Uh, we are getting good successes. Pharmaceutical companies are the biggest buyers of our devices. Uh, but, but our desire, when I'll be really happy, uh, is, is that when I was born and the, somebody's hemoglobin was being tested by our devices. That would be, I think, the vision fulfilled for us. Thank you. Thank you for the question.